Hello, it's Sarah, and I have a project share today. I did another canvas, and it's up on an um, easel stand type thing. I guess I can lay it down. And I've decided that my style is definitely collage. I feel like this is basically what I do on an ATC. It's just in a bigger format. Um, and I made sure that I just had a lot of stuff this time to really fill in the the uh, space. I also turned it on its side. Landscape, I think they call that, um, which I liked better. It just, it just fit better. Uh, all right, so anyway, all, I didn't use any sprays or any, I did use some paint. I used gesso and paint, and you can't really see it, but I used a couple of Heidi Swap stencils. This is the honeycomb. I'll put this down for a minute. The honeycomb stencil, which I like. It's only they're only three ninety nine. So it's at, at my Michaels they had them, and this one was cool because it's hearts, little dots like bubbles and stars. So I like that to have the option. So all I put on this is I did the honeycomb in white, and I did the stars in blue, in the Tim Holtz. Uh, Broken China, this paint. I just put it on and I applied it with a sponge. And then the white I did with gesso. And you really can't see it. It's really pretty clear. Um, sorry, covered up. Um, I used a new stamp set that I got. It's called The Chemist. It's one of the Tim Holtz ones. And I love it. I love him. He's so cool. So it had this, um, you know, E equals MC squared type writing. And... Uh, so I made a chalkboard. There's like bottles, a bunch of chemistry bottles, a couple of books with a quill pen on top, and then him. That's really it. But those were my focal point for this canvas. I knew I wanted to use that as my theme. And then I have my letters, create. So it kind of, I kind of had that in mind when I made the letters and I knew I was getting that stamp. I used a bunch of um, different Tim Holtz, um, what are these called, dies. So obviously, I mean, you can see, I'm a little disappointed because I think I should have done this, this big clock one in black. I wish I would have, I just, um, what did I actually color that? I painted it with this, oh, okay. I painted it with the copper uh, Adirondack dauber and so it was copper because I was trying to pull the copper from some of the gears because I did um, cut some of the gears in a copper excuse me copper color paper and I did use a couple in the blue um, so I don't know but I just think that would have stood out better if it was black and I I'm tempted to do this whole thing again um, I actually cut a few gears in cork and I stamped on them with this stamp that I made the chalkboard with. Um, I embossed this with just white embossing powder. And I popped up these little, um, the wooden pieces a little bit. Um, some of the things are up and down, up and down. I used this little nib that Jill gave me. I would never had a nib before. And I put one of my little skulls on there. I've been dying to use that. So I just filled in that. I really tried to fill in every space I could find. Um... Let's see. Oh, this was an idea that I got from Rachel Rachel Christensen, I think her name is. And she's a blogger. I can't think of the name of her blog. But she's she's on Tim Holtz's design team a lot. And I didn't have them, but the, she did this on a monocle. She used the, um, uh, what are these called? The, the remnant rubs. And I have three of them, and I've never used them. So I just rubbed the eyeball on this that actually Jill gave me this too, the fragment. I guess it's called a fragment. And I just hung it from one of the little, um, I don't even know what they're called either, but it's another Tim Holtz um, thing. And I glued all those on with glossy accents. I glued most of the canvas together with, uh, I use a lot of different glues, but this is Fabri-Tac. I like Fabri-Tac a lot. It still has the strings and everything that you get with a glue gun. I did use my glue gun too for some things, but not all of it. Um, so yeah, so I think it turned out cool. I stamped the, um, the stamps onto Ma Manila card, and then I just colored them lightly with different light distress markers. Um, 
And that's basically it. I put a little glossy accents on or a dimensional magic. Let's see if you can see that on the glass, some of the glass pieces, not all of them. I didn't do all of them, like the test tube in his hand I did and a couple of the other ones and I popped them up like in front of them a little bit and then I stamped it a couple times and like put a couple that like popped these up like on top of each other. You can kind of see that. I don't know. I like it. I think it turned. Oh, and then this is actually another one of his dies. The Movers and Shapers. It's called Vintage Fan and Globe Set. And I love this globe. I've played with that before. And I just love coloring it in blue and green. And then I just use my um, silver uh, embossing. No, what is it called? Um, leafing pen. Silver leafing pen. And then put um, distress stickles on it. See, there's still strings everywhere. Um, but it just, they turn, it turns out really cool, that globe. I love it. And I thought that would be in a science room, in a lab. Um, what else? And that's about it, really. I just kind of played with the gear. I put some of his gears, of course, one of the, his corner, metal corners. But yeah, I think I would like to do this again. And I, I, I'm very disappointed that I didn't do that, that clock behind. Oh, I put this clock on. That's just from one of his paper sheets and a spinner. These are the actually the spinners from um, Hobby Lobby. Um, but I mean, that's my only problem with it. Obviously, you know, I am my own worst critic and I know I'm very happy with this considering the struggles that I do have with canvases. Um, but I just feel like that clock really should have been black. And maybe I'll just, I think I might just take my black pen you know what, though? I could totally screw up the whole thing. But my um, distress marker and just kind of get in there. But see, I'm not going to be able to get in all the nooks and crannies. It's going to mess it up. I think I'm disappointed in that, but that's it. Other than that, I really love it. I think I want to go get those monocles now. That was such a great idea. I only have one eyeball left, obviously, of the remnant rubs. These are really cool, these remnant rubs. I haven't even, I haven't used them very much, but I mean, there's other stuff you could use on here. I have three different ones. This one has a bunch of words. Finders, keepers, do much good, shine brightly, seek the good. A lot of cool stuff. Um, and this one's just a bunch of numbers and game pieces and stuff. Anyway, um, so that's it. This is my share for today. I also did two little, I'll show you these while I'm at it. I did these two little um, ATCs. These are uh, my fall kiddos. I was going to do a, a stick pin swap and then I backed out of it. But um, I had thought about using these for my presentations. And I have these um, fall leaf... Um, you know what these are. Brads, sorry, my buttons of course. And then some trim that Mary had given me that I just cut apart, these applique trims. Put it on some of the corrugated card that I've been playing with lately and just thought that added a little, uh, and, and then this is, uh, these are little stamps. I think they're um, Studio J. I don't have them at the ready, but they're, I, I was a little disappointed in how, oh, here they are and how they printed but I mean you can see these are tiny little words tiny 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 um, but like you can tell that says autumn leaves but it's just that they're so tiny um, so I watercolored him and then I just cut him down he was already an ATC but then I just cut him down and kind of put him on this I love it then I put her on some um, this stuff you know, burlap, <laughs> and did basically the same thing. Just changed up the uh, the colors of the brads and the um, leaves, and I put laugh on hers. Super cute. I just think that that those uh, the burlap and the um, uh, corrugated card just really kind of spoke fall to me. They said fall, but anywho, that's what I've been doing. I'm kind of. Oh, I, I want to make some art dolls, and I don't know if I'll be able to share them with you because I don't want to get in trouble. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.